So, hey, my YouTubers and everyone in the world. Today is October the 13th. The time is now 1027 a.m. So this is going to be, um, this video is going to be very important to me. <laughs> so this video is learn to be proud of yourself. I feel like a lot of times um, people are very hard on themselves and they allow other people to be hard on, hard on them as well. And I feel like a lot of times we don't, applaud ourselves enough for the things that we do and the things that we have accomplished in our lifetime. Instead, it's easier to just be hard on ourselves. And, and I don't know why. But I just want to talk to you guys today about being proud of yourself. Like, be proud of yourself for everything you've accomplished in your life, whether you think it's a small thing or whether you think it's something large, like be thankful and be grateful and, and let yourself know that you're proud of yourself for the things that you do. And when you are doing something new, do it for you. Don't do it to please other people and, and you know, at look for their approval. Do it to please yourself you know, approve yourself. Don't look for that in other people. Because if you constantly look for other people to sit there and applaud you for things that you've accomplished in your life, and then one day they automatically stop applauding you for the things that you've accomplished, even if they know that you've done a good job, like, that's going to bring you down. So you have to be your number one fan. You have to be the person to let yourself know that you're proud of yourself for whatever you've accomplished in your life. Me personally, I'm proud of myself for a couple different reasons. Now, I'm one to tell you, I did not finish high school. I actually ended up leaving high school in 11th grade, and that was to work two jobs because I wanted to move out of my mother's house. That's how desperate I was back then. And I didn't know, you know, I didn't realize how important education really was, you know, until you actually get older and you're put in different situations. And you're like, well, if I had a degree you know, or if I had a diploma, then maybe that pay rate would have been different or that title would have been different. But I, I definitely applaud myself because at 21, I ended up going to get my GED. And then at 22 or 23, I started college online and I actually obtained my degree. I have a degree in health information management. So I say that to say this, like when I went back to go get my GED, I, I did that for me. I didn't do it to please other people or because other people had their own personal opinions about what was going to be possible in my life. I did it to prove it to myself that I can do it. And when I went to college, that was something completely new to me. And guys, let me tell you something. A lot of people have this stereotype that when you go to college online, it's a lot easier than if you're actually sitting in a class. And I'm here to tell you that that's not true. In fact, I believe that it's harder to go online because you don't have someone that's actually sitting like right in front of you where you can raise your hand and say, hey, I have a question about something. You don't have teachers and professors that's actually telling you, okay, well, you know that your homework is due on Friday. You know, you don't see them in a, in a physical form. You see them online. So at the end of the day, you have to be very mature and you have to be extremely responsible to make sure your classwork is handed in on time, to make sure you're sitting down in front of that computer to take that test every Friday. I mean, honestly speaking, like, you really won't believe. It, it is just as difficult to go to, um, you know, a physical school and go online. To me, the, the difficulty is, is it's, it's the same. You know, it's, it's really the same. So... I'm proud of myself for going back to school and obtaining my, my degree. I'm proud of myself for, you know, being 29, about to be 30 in one month, in one day, <laughs> 31 days. Um, I'm excited because now I have my business online. I'm selling over 14,000 products right now, and it's free shipping anywhere in the United States and in Canada. So at the end of the day, I'm here to tell you guys that no matter what it is that you're doing in your life, applaud yourself, be proud of yourself, and don't do it 
to please someone else or to get their approval. Because see, what happens is when people see that you're doing something that they're not, that they thought was impossible for your life, right? What they do is they try to bring you down in different ways. They try to make you feel bad about, you know, um, just different situations. They just don't want you to feel good. You know, and this is this is all if they're not if they're jealous of you. This is only if they're jealous of you and you know they're envious and things of that nature. But honestly speaking, like I'm just here to tell you guys, I don't care what it is that you're doing in your life, as long as you're doing it for yourself, to please yourself and to make yourself proud, I say go for it. You know, I just actually obtained my license about a year ago. And honestly speaking, I didn't pass the test on the first try, but there was something inside me that said, I'm so determined. I want to get my license. I'm going to get it. And I got it and I did it for me. So now if I want to rent a car, I don't have to call a friend and say, hey, I don't have my license. Can you, um, you know, go rent the car for me? And then you got to hear them give you a story about why they can't and why they won't. No, I don't have to deal with that. Now I have my own license. I could take it and say, hey, you know what? I want that car right there. That's the car we're going to rent out for a couple days. And it feels good to, to have that type of power. It feels good to have that type of control over my own life. So I'm telling you guys, like I have so many other things that I'm in the process of wanting to accomplish in my life. And I'm here to tell you guys that anything that you do, you know, do it for you. Do it to make yourself happy. Do it to prove it to yourself that you can do it. Do it to make yourself proud, you know? And when you when you start thinking in that those terms and you start doing things to make yourself proud and to make yourself feel good, everybody else is just naturally going to respect what you do. But how can they not? How can they not? So anything you want to do in your life, guys, is possible. You know, put your mind to it, be fully dedicated to do whatever it is that you want to do. And before you know it, you're making yourself proud. And in the process, everybody else is going to fall in line. They're going to respect what you're doing because they're going to see that you're doing 110% everything for yourself to make yourself happy, to make yourself proud, to make yourself feel good. And a person can't stand in the way of that. It's, it's too powerful. So, yeah, I just... I had to shoot that video, guys, and I had to let you guys know, like, I'm so proud of myself for the things that I've accomplished and the things I'm going to accomplish within my next five years, within my next 10 years. Like, it's so much stuff that I'm going to accomplish between, because I'm about to be 30. So between 30 and 40, it's going to be so crazy. And I want you guys to be there with me and experience the life changes that's going to happen in my life because I want you to know that when I put my mind to something, it's already said and done. The universe and everything else is going to move out the way to make it happen for me. You know, so there's nothing stronger than a made up mind. Let's make up our mind today that whatever we do, we're going to do it for ourselves. We're going to do it to make ourselves feel good. We're going to do it to make ourselves happy, you know, and that's perfectly normal. And it's not being selfish. It's being smart because the last thing you want to do is look back on your life and say, I wish I had done it for me. So if it's something you want to do and other people don't approve, you don't need their approval. And I'm here to tell you that today. The only approval you need is your own. Okay. So, yes, like I always say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, of course, visit my website at shopleveronline.com. Guys, go visit my website. I have a lot of crazy, great, amazing brands and great quality merchandise that you guys are going to love. I kid you not. And I have sales that's going to be coming up right now. You know, there's a sale that's going on where if you, um, the, the sale code is, um, the coupon, well, what is it considered? Well, anyways, guys, just go to Shop Level Online. Like I said before, the only approval you need is your own. Make yourself proud. Make yourself happy and make yourself feel good. And visit ShopLevelOnline.com. It's amazing, amazing merchandise on there. I don't want you guys to miss out. It's all love. Peace.